we're installing five, uh, five roughly 40 meter long box girders weighing roughly just under 100,000 pounds each for our new structure, our new mountain highway interchange overpass over Highway 1. Tonight we're doing the last three of our box girder installation and doing a crane move after our second girder's in place. We have to move the crane one more time and then lift the last one in place and that'll complete all the box girders for our new structure, our new overpass. First night, the uh, main things we were looking at is how the girders are going to move. We were on a little bit of a grade outside, so a little bit of steepness in the road. We weren't sure how the girders were going to travel necessarily. So it take a little more time, especially on the first one, moving slow movements with the crane until you get everything set. So the first girder probably takes about an hour longer than the rest, but you want to be sure you're doing it correctly. Especially when we're doing a heavy lift like this, is slow and steady wins the day. Tolerances are tight, about 15 mils. There's holes in the bottom of the girders and there's some long Dewey Dag anchor bolts about four meters long. There's four on each girder and we need to get them precisely on that and then on some leveling pads. There's a tremendous amount of planning that goes into completing a task such as this. Completing it first of all safely and secondly in a timely manner due to the uh, closures that we are, are allowed to have on Highway 1. There's a lot of forethought that has to go in with all the groups, the subcontractors and all of our workers and supervisors to ensure that it's uh, carried out flawlessly and safely. On days like today we're doing a critical lift. The things that we're lifting are very heavy. These girders are an average of 96,000 pounds. They're very unforgiving so it's paramount that the guys look out for each other. There's lots of pinch points, squish points. You can get into harm's way very easily. It's uh, taking care of ground conditions. We have buddy checks to put on all our safety gear and harnesses and whatnot. Double checking all our equipment every day, making sure tires are inflated properly, the equipment is in good running condition, forklifts, bobcats, all the heavy gear. Then our ropes and ladders and catwalks go through all the checks and balances to make sure everything is in good working order. We have a strong uh, management group that's able to pull all of our subcontractors and our stakeholders together in order to complete a task such as this. We pride ourselves on being able to manage successfully multiple subcontractors, building those relationships with our subcontractors that enables us to execute a task such as this uh, successfully and without incident. We're about two-thirds away through the construction of the overpass still have some really key interesting elements left to do. Installation of the precast panels, then the rebar, and then the road surface. This particular project is really going to enhance the traffic movement in this area and it really focuses on our uh, one of our mantras of building better cities for the greater Vancouver area. And this is one particular project that uh, all of our stakeholders are really excited about and really excited to see complete and uh, we're excited to be able to, uh, to give that to them.